like this. So, you know, uh, the, the faith in Kevin Smith's movie reviewing is um, is not to be trusted. Anyway, so he's, uh, people are pretending to care about Batgirl being canceled. It's the most pathetic thing ever. They, like, they know it was, it was going to suck, and they weren't going to see it anywhere, but, but they're outraged on, on social media. So, yeah, being outraged on social media doesn't cost you a friggin' dime, but you weren't going to go to the theater to, to pay for it, and you weren't going to subscribe to whatever to pay for it, because it looked horrible, because it's... A, a female character is a hard sell anyway, and it's not like you haven't had a, 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 a... Well, you had Wonder Woman, which is a... Well, the first Wonder Woman was a pretty big hit, but the second Wonder Woman was a bomb. And then Birds of Prey was a bomb. So you've had some female-led story. And then um, Charlie's Angels female-led, and that was a bomb. And then Ghostbusters was a bomb, that was female-led. Uh, Terminator was a bomb, that was female-led. So it's like, y you really, you know, you know you've got your... Word. Oh, so what's this? Oh, she's also POC. Oh, God, it's like... You're asking the impossible, man. There's no freaking way that's... Oh, well, you know, the, well, Black Panther did. Well, yeah, because it was a dude who played the role. Rest in peace, Chad. 43 is way too young to go. But, um, you know, a female... Man, you've got... That's a that's a seriously uphill battle. And and now, in the days of Woke, it's like you know she's going to... like. Uh, let me guess. Are the bad guys blonde hair, blue eyed? How did you possibly guess that? I must be I must be Nostradamus to guess that. I just must be a freaking genius. Yeah, it's crazy how I. It's crazy how. Yeah, no, because it's every. Is there going to be a POC BLT girl black, lecturing the blonde hair blue eye guys on on the patriarchy or something, on their privilege? And and like she'll be super smart, and the blonde guys will be simultaneously evil geniuses, but also incompetent and inept. Which is is weird because you know, like I always say, it's like they. They built Europe, which, you know, the spilling, uh, willy smetch of disbelief only goes so far when you're looking at architecture that these blonde-haired, blue-eyed guys guys made, and then suddenly every commercial you see, it's like, God, why are they, like, borderline uh, developmentally disabled in every commercial? And the POCs are, like, all super geniuses. Uh, they're all, all Teslas, and the blonde guys are just drooling idiots. It kind of doesn't, kind of not really in accord with reality, at least in my experience. Hey, maybe the, maybe the people who make these commercials, um, maybe their experience uh, is different. But or or maybe they're just lying goblins who are just selling this this hate filled propaganda. Anyway, let me just say that I hate diversity, uh, and it's it's cancer. I know it's cancer. I'm so jaded right now that I can't watch anything with pox in it. Beside, much less um, um, BLT stuff. There's no freaking way I want to see that. Um, because I know they're going to be treated as as Mary Sue purse puppies. Because they always are treated as Mary Sue purse puppies. You never have the story reversed where, you know, just the things I described were reversed. You, you never see that because people, um, POC Twitter would just lose their friggin' rag. It's like, oh, well, don't you want to treat people equally? Frankly, no, they don't want to treat equal, people equally. Like that's if you don't know that by now, you haven't been paying attention. So I, I, um, I know that you can't support cancer. Otherwise, you'll get more cancer. I want straight, super straight. Don't don't try, don't try to fool me with your uh, your semantics over. Uh, I identify as a yeah yeah, but we know you're not. We super straight. We want super straight blonde hair, blue eyed people in in a hundred percent of every scene, and women speaking roles should be minimized because uh, in movies they're really annoying and preachy, and it's just you can only take so much of a woman before you kind of want to turn down the volume a little bit. Um, I want a reverse Bechdel test, a, a Bianca test. I want women to be treated like in a 1960s James Bond film where they're kind of, you know, slapped around and uh, you, you spank your secretary on the butt as she passes by and, and brings you a cigarette or something. I want more patronizing scenes in films. I want a return to the patriarchal film narrative where all the good guys are some Aryan stereotype. Like, I want to go way beyond what we've already seen in the past. I want all these good guys need to be, you know, blonde hair, blue eyed, uh, look like they're, they're skiing down some Swedish mountain. You know, your standard James Bond scene where they're skiing down a mountain with machine guns and, and then skiing over the roofs of, uh, of buildings. And then there's a waiting sports car at the bottom. She hops in this little little Aston Martin or something. And he, you know, drives away while he's dropping oil slicks behind him and smoke. Whatever. Uh, is that going to happen? Is any? No, of course not. Not in the mainstream. But it's what I want. And I won't support this silly anti-blonde nonsense that is what you're going to get every single time in the mainstream now. It's This is the future. It's not going to change. If you have any expectations about some future some future movie coming out, why would you have those expectations? You have to be an idiot to think that they're going to they're going to make something that's not exactly as I described. Not from mainstream Hollywood. So while it's true, I'm not going to get a return to old films or you know the stuff I mentioned. I'm also not going to pay these Epstein's and Weinstein's in Hollywood to make propaganda 
where it's the worst people on earth who are lecturing us. It's like they applauded Weinstein for years, and they, they let that go. And then they get on stage, and they're lecturing us on, on like, you know, these people, they people track their jets. These people have these private jets, right? And they're burning how many liters of fuel per second. And so they track the carbon footprint of Taylor Swift's jet and, and you know, all these, these Hollywood types, you know, uh, Justin Bieber and... Uh, Matt Damon and all these guys are flying around the world in these jets and they're tracking the carbon footprint. It's like, yeah, you guys own private jets and you're flying to environmental conferences, but you're you're in, up on Hollywood stage and you're applauding Weinstein and then you're lecturing us. It's like, oh, you you just the worst people on earth. Why would you support you guys in in any regard? Anyway, if you pay for Global Homo Hollywood, then you're gonna get more of the same. I can't change Hollywood, but I don't have to support it. Batgirl got canceled because one, it must have been horrible beyond horrible which now in the days of the movies that you see come out that a lot of them are just milk toast and there are some that are just bombs it's like they still get made uh, you know think of the last dozen movies that got made and you kind of wonder like ah did those really did did uh, black widow need to get made did uh, like suicide squad part two need to get made it's ah uh, it's like they just there was nothing to those movies i can't even quite put my finger on why why they, they they weren't good, but the proof is oh were they rewatched and the numbers say no they weren't rewatched, um and and the thing is now with this uh, Batgirl cancellation there was a tax loophole that they could take advantage of but keep in mind if the movie was good if it was going to make money and it was going to help their brand and it, you know was going to sell little Batgirl T-shirts or whatever it's like they would have came out with the movie. A movie doesn't sell because it has non-European characters in it. Actually, for me, as I said, the opposite is very, very much true. Uh, you know, identity politics works works both ways. You get people like me who never gave two shits about identity politics ten years ago, and now suddenly we find that, oh, it's this is the future. You have to play by the new rules of the game. It's like identity politics is for everyone. It's like even if you don't want to, it's like you're going to have to get tribal and start advocating for the stuff you want otherwise you, you just you're just you're going to get this kind of insane stuff um anyway so people and obviously i'm talking about more than movies um people don't want to be lectured to by poc blt mary sue purse puppy furry other kins these like the same people can't define women woman but they also know that a woman has a penis and you'd better use their pronouns why would I? I'm an adult. I'm not going to fall for cultural Marxism from the usual suspects. Movies are entertainment. We're not going to pay for propaganda. And I'm not so naive as to say that, to understand that, you know, we have, we, we've been paying for propaganda for the past 50 years. But it's, um, it was enjoyable propaganda, even if it was always, yeah, films are always propaganda. Um, the fir the more the deeper you, these red pills you take, you go back further and further, and you look at these the, this propaganda that you've been fed for the past fifty years, and it's like, oh yeah, it was always there. It's just now they've it's so it's just unwatchably bad. Where in the past it was at least it was at least enjoyable, and it wasn't all bad. So I mean, you know, everyone's film is going to be a version of their worldview. It's just like, would you rather have nationalist worldview or globalist worldview? And now everything is this globalist found family um insane bolshevik worldview and it's like it's cancer we've seen we've seen the result of of, of globalist policies for the past hundred years and it just results in mass amounts of human suffering i can it's different this time like this is about more than movies it's, the movies are these people's worldview if you're blt poc and you want to see yourself on screen you know you want to see representation uh, great but then super straight the people of the light um, blonde haired, blue eyed, uh, turtleneck wearing, ski school, Sweden types also want to see themselves represented on screen. If everyone wants representation, then it's just a war competing interest by people who really hate each other. And yeah, yeah, don't get me wrong, I absolutely hate these people now. It's, you know, live and let live. No, these, these people are evil. If you support race swap Spider Man and Batman, uh, war lines in the Batman movie that dehumanize European people. I mean, why would you listen? Why would you support a line that dehumanized anyone? It's it's not okay to dehumanize European people any more than it's okay to do it to anyone else. If you support that, you'll get more of it. Anyone, everyone in those movies was race swapped except for the main characters. That's in the, you know they made a billion dollars. If the mainstream cattle enjoy the bread and circuses, I don't know what to say to that. You can't argue with sheep. They just get angry at you for pulling them out of the matrix. These movies that these globalists make are a window into their soul, and it's it is the black hole of an abyss. It's just the end state, heat death of the universe. It's the absolute 
beyond good and evil. These people just want chaos and destruction. They want nothingness. They hate you, and they literally want you gone from this mortal coil. They're telling you who they are in these movies and on social media and so many other hints. And they always use that phrase against us. Like, they go, when they tell you who they are, be believe them. It's like, mostly we just want to live and let live. We're seeing who you people are, these Bolsheviks are. It's the greatest evil known to man. I mean, especially because you've had a hundred years of failing policies, and you've seen you've seen where it led to mass starvations in China, Russia, Southeast Asia, Cuba. It's like the mass of human rights abuses. And it's funny because the BLT people love this stuff. It's like you know, uh, communism, socialism has not been kind to BLT people. If you want to look up some quotes about the like Stalin, Lenin, Che Guevara, uh, Fidel Castro, any socialist communist leader, like what they had to say about 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 that 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 group of people. Oh, it'll it'll be different this time because we'll be in charge. No, you'll be either put up against the wall and deleted, or you'll be put in a gulag and forgotten about. You won't be in charge. You're just useful idiots. The people who will be in charge, it's like the same people are in charge, it's just, you just change the format, unless you, you know, do something radically different by turning them into Sonic Green or something. Anyway, um, so these people hate you. Um, Kevin Smith made some good films in the past, but when it comes to discussing uh, new films, if you've seen some of his reviews where he's, he smokes weed and cries, he's such a pathetic shill for every movie. He loved Disney Star Wars. He loves and there's no, there's nothing to get excited about for Disney Star Wars. It's not even worth watching, even to criticize it. The first, if you want to watch the the what three hours of Disney Star or the nine hours of Disney Star Wars, you watch the first twenty minutes of the first movie, and that's it. That's all you need to watch. It's like yeah, yeah, that that kind of it's you don't need to say anything more than that. It's just it's just that it's just there's a scene in the last movie where there's. Um, a bunch of POC BLTs who are riding space horses or something. It's like, it just looks like a Hollywood Tumblr checklist. Did we get everyone represented in this movie that George Lucas wrote in the 60s and 70s? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look like George Lucas is imagining. And I think, to be fair, George Lucas is pretty woke, but he also wanted to make stuff that sold. It's like, is that Star Wars? No, it's it's Disney Star Wars, and Disney's a bunch of vermin parasites. No, you don't, I mean... There's nothing that Star Wars is coming out with. I don't know if they're even coming out with any big box, any big movies, like in the theater movies anymore. Like, after Solo Bomb, like, you're going to get... If you get if you get excited about anything, just kick yourself in the nuts, because you're... You just... Like, how do you live in a world where, you, where you, you get crap for the past thousand movies, and you think, oh, well, the next one will probably... They'll probably turn it around. Maybe it won't be so bad. Yeah, it's bad. You can just, like, Hollywood's over. You just got to kind of cross that line and go, oh, wait, no, it, it really is over. Like, it's really over. You're not going to get a single movie in the future that's non-woke. I mean, how many times can you continually get these movies and, and act surprised when you know it's it's garbage? It's like, they're all going to be garbage. They're all going to be like that. Anyway, Kevin Smith's reviews are meaningless. If you think everything is genius, then, well, it's, well you're not a reviewer. You're just, you're just a shill. And after making Jay and Silent Bob Part 2, and then he giggly or jiggly and with ben affleck and jennifer lopez back in the 90s and, and tusk and red state and yoga yoga hosers he's not qualified to tell us what a good movie is he just smoked himself retarded or, or his wife Schwaback has sucked his talent out through his penis anyway like comment subscribe check me out on subscribe star i'm starting to put um videos that are politically incorrect up there you can join for two dollars a month and i will see you guys next episode